Hello everyone and welcome back to another special episode of Code Man Movies. Uh, want to do a few extra episodes this week, just try to at least get up to like, you know, 50 for the, for the year. So I can say that I've done quite a few videos for the year and my videos have been getting some views lately. So why not? Um, I also want to get to 80 subscribers by the end of the month. I think I'm at like 78 now. It went up from the last video. So thank you so much if you have liked, subscribed, and shared and all that fun stuff. Um, we are going to talk about the release schedule for this next year of 2023. Talk about some of the things I might be excited for, might not be excited for. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to do that. I have IMDb up, ready to go here. I have the release calendar ready to go. We're going to do that. Um, as always, I have a drink. This is an orange fashion, a drink of my creation that um, I made. It's got a Captain Morgan orange and some orange bitters and some Sierra Mist and some good stuff. And it's potent. Um, so yeah, guys, let's just get into it. Um, let's just talk about this release schedule. Um, first movie I see here is A Man Called Otto. It is the remake with Tom Hanks. I have never seen the original foreign film, and I have not read the book. This one with Tom Hanks does not look good, though. It's coming out in January. That scares the hell out of me. I do not think this movie is going to be good at all. Um, I really do want to watch the original, though. I need to do that. I really do want to read the book. This Megan horror movie, I have seen trailers for it. It looks weird and interesting. Again, it's out in January. That just scares the tar out of me. It really does. Um, not sure about that one. Operation Fortune. That is the one, I believe, that is directed by um, Guy Ritchie. Not a big Guy Ritchie fan. Not super excited for that one. The only movie coming out in January. I, it so scares me when January movies come out for some reason. I wonder why. Not a whole heck of a lot. January is a... Doesn't have anything. I mean, I don't know what any of these movies are. Tell February. February, Knock at the Cabin. The new um, M. Night Shyamalan movie. Guys, I have been um, disappointed again and again and again by M. Night Shyamalan. I will say I like the cast in this one. I, I want to be more excited for this as I... Uh, more excited than I am for this one. And I'm just not. Um, yeah, I, I'm loving the, the marketing for it. I, I've seen the first trailer. It's a good first trailer. Interesting premise. I believe it is a book. And I hear the book is not that great. So maybe M. Night will make the book better. We'll see. Um... Magic Mike's Last Dance. Guys, if you have not seen the original Magic Mike, even if you're a dude, it's actually a good movie. It's a bro movie, really. It's about a bunch of guys hanging out together, and yes, there's strippers in it. So it's a guy movie, a bro movie that girls can enjoy. Um, yeah. uh, I, it, the second one is very much for the women aspect. It's more about stripping and was not my, my cup of tea. I don't know about this third one. The cast that was in the first and second one do not seem to be in this one at all. It seems to be all about uh, Channing Tatum's Magic Mike character. But Steve Sodenberg is back, and I do not believe he directed that second one. So he gave the second one a 4 out of 10. And I gave the first one a 6 out of 10. That's not accurate. No, Gregory Jacobs directed the, um, the second one. It just was not as strong for me. And I don't think this first Magic Mike should be a 6 out of 10. Honestly, I'm going to go at least a 7 out of 10. I'm going to rewatch these movies before I go see the new one. But, yeah, Steven Soderbergh is coming back for this third one. Um, I'm actually really excited for Magic Mike. Um, I went to the movies today and saw the trailer for the new Magic Mike. And I... It does not look as good as the first. I will say that. But I'm very excited for Steven Sotenberg coming back. And I'm excited for it. Winnie, Plo Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I, yeah, I like horror movies. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I was actually talking to my movie theater people about this movie tonight. And we were talking about how we do not like Ant-Man as a character in solo movies. We like him in the group movies. He just works. He's a good 
side character and not at all a solo character. He's just not, it's not enough. Uh, we were also talking about how this year's Marvel movies have been very disappointing and how we've kind of given up on Marvel a bit. We also all agreed that th this Ant-Man trailer didn't do anything for us. It just looks a little too goofy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to be more excited for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania than I am. And I'm, I'm just not. I, I, I really am kind of bummed out with Marvel stuff. Even though I liked Wakanda Forever, I, I kind of have lost some hope with uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. And it's Marvel. I, I should be really excited for it. Uh, guys, Cocaine Bear. Let's talk about Cocaine Bear. I am so excited for this movie. Ray, I think it's Ray, Ray, uh, Ray Liotta's last movie, I believe, that was put onto film. I'm not sure on that. It's one of his last, for sure. Uh, this cast is great. I will say that. Uh, Elizabeth Banks is just not a director that I've loved. She's only made two movies. Pitch Perfect 2 is a movie I enjoyed. The new Charlie's Angles movie I really didn't like. And this premise is just so ridiculous and so awesome that I'm just really excited for Cocaine Bear. I really am. Creed 3. There has been some behind-the-scenes drama with this one. Uh stuff that uh, Sylvester Stallone was basically kicked out, that he, this and that, a whole bunch of things going on behind the scenes with this one. I don't know. Uh, I will say this. I went, when I saw Avatar in IMAX 3D, this movie did a, a special preview kind of behind the scenes event for it. This is the first ever sports movie to be shot in IMAX. I did not know that. And I'm kind of excited for that. That made me more excited for this movie. It is Michael B. Jordan's first ever directorial debut. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I hope it's good. I really like the first. I have not rewatched the second very many times. And I honestly haven't rewatched the first all that many times. But I acknowledge it's really good movies. I love both of the movies. They're honestly really good. Um, both really good theater experiences from from when I went and saw them. Uh, Sound of Silence. I have no clue what that is. Scream 6. Guys, I watched this teaser. I really like this teaser. Um, I was talking to one of my theater people tonight. She saw this year's 20, or this year's Scream so many different times. I think she said she saw it 13 times or something like that. Uh, and she's not excited for this one. And she didn't love the newest one. She just had fun with it. It was a Scream movie. Um, I hate what they're calling this movie. I just, I hate what they're doing. With this. It's literally Scream again. I, I just don't understand why they can't, I, I don't know. I, I didn't love what they called this movie. But I'm very excited for this one. I really am getting super excited for this movie. I really just... Scream 6, man. I'm excited. I really am excited. Uh, Inside. What is that? I have seen this particular image, and that's about it. I know Willem Dafoe is in it. Nemo, a high-end art thief, is trapped in a New York penthouse after his heist doesn't go as planned. Locked inside with nothing but priceless works of art. He must use all his cunning... Ooh, that sounds really good. Kind of excited for that one. I'm not going to lie. Ugh, why did it bring me all the way to the top? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, kind of just looking at who's in this mo these movies. Golda. It's a really good cast. Guy in a T. Focus on intensely. Huh, that sounds interesting. I, I, I don't know. I know nothing about that one. Oh, what do we got next, guys? We're only into February. <sighs> Shazam. Um, I have seen this this trailer at nauseum at this point. Um, I really, really enjoyed the first Shazam, like, a lot. I love that first Shazam. See this trailer? I've watched it about 100,000 times now. Kind of getting sick of it. And I almost feel like parts of the movie really get spoiled with this one, but yeah. 
Uh, I also don't know if this movie franchise is going to be moving forward with what's going on with the DC right now, DCU. Um, yeah. Uh, I am very excited for Shazam. I will say that. Shazam looks like a good fun time. I'll have moved by then and we'll probably get to go see it in IMAX 3D or IMAX or whatever. It's it. I'm excited for that. The worst one. John Wick 4. Let's talk about John Wick a little bit here. Um, love the first John Wick. Enjoyed the second one. Did not think it was good as the first. Liked the third, but there was a lot of things that bugged me about the third. I have seen the trailer for this fourth one, and I just kind of feel like it's going in the same direction as the third. If that's the case, this franchise is getting stale for me. It really is. Um, it, it's just getting a little too over the top for me. The first one was just so simple, and it just feels like with everyone, they're getting crazier and crazier and crazier, and I just don't feel like they even need to do that. So I am excited for John Wick 4, but I'm not over the moon about it. I'm really not. It just, I've had enough. The Bogue Man starring Mike Myers. What is that? Family moves to Bigfoot tourism town and soon. Creature is more than a legend. Ooh, about Bigfoot. And it stars Mike Myers. Is this a biography? No, it's a horror movie. What? Like, Mike Myers, as in Shrek Mike Myers? No, this is a different Mike Myers. Uh, okay. I thought this was like, my, I guess Michael Myers is who I'm thinking of. And I haven't gotten, I'm not excited about that, no. Dungeons and Dragons looks stupid. Just putting it out there. Super Mario's Brother movie. Guys, I'm actually kind of excited for this one. It comes out on the day of my birthday. My birthday's Friday this year, that's cool. Um, this for me feels very much kind of like the Lego movie where I was like, this looks childish and kind of dumb. But, I mean, I think this is gonna be better than that. I really do, and Chris Pratt is also the lead voice character. Really great voice cast. I mean, I'm not even going through it all. That's just some of those. And holy cow, what a cast, you know what I'm saying? such a great cast so i i'm kind of excited for it i enjoyed the trailer for this one we'll see what actually happens though evil dead rise we're getting another evil dead maybe i knew about this i don't know um is this an exact sequel to the first one I don't think it is. Uh, that 2013 one is fine. I don't love that movie. I think I actually talked about it this year. It's fine. I don't love that movie. If this is a direct sequel, that interesting. If not, um, okay. So it's just a random new one. Interesting. The Covenant, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal is a good actor. Sergeant John, who on his last tour of June after his team does blah, blah. This song, oh, this is a Guy Ritchie movie. And you lost me. Not a big Guy Ritchie fan. I'm just not, I don't like the way he does things. Wizards, a comedy with Pete Davidson. Problem with two unlikely beach bar operators starts when they find stolen loot. Pete Davidson, Orlando Bloom's in it. Um, Naomi Scott, uh, interesting cast. I love me a comedy. So if we can get a good comedy, that'd be great. Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. The Judy Bloom book, isn't it? I think that's Judy Bloom book. With her family, let me know, Margaret. Yeah, that's based on the Judy Bloom book, I believe. Um, I don't remember that book. It's it's kind of a chick thing, which I'll watch chick things. So there's not, I have nothing wrong with that, but I don't remember as a child reading that. My parents would probably not allow me to read girl books like that. My parents are stupid. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I did not love Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I love that Christmas special. I am very interested with what they do with this final Guardians adventure. I know basically everyone in the cast is like, yeah, this is it. We're not doing it anymore. We're done. We will only do this with James Gunn, which he almost didn't even get to freaking direct this because of those stupid tweets and stuff. <laughs> Um, I'm excited. 
As I said with Ant-Man though, I just, I've been, I'm just kind of getting burnt out with Marvel stuff, especially the TV shows were just so eh. And even the movies this year were very eh. Um, Black Panther was the best one and I still had quite a few issues with that movie. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Book Club, the next chapter. I saw a freaking trailer for that tonight. It looks so bad. So not interested in that. Fast 10. Guys, I am kind of done with the Fast franchise. I hear Giselle Gal Gadot is bringing, being brought back to life somehow. Rita Marino's in this new one. Uh, Jason Momoa is the bad guy. I, Brie Larson's in this too. Hey, the cast is getting better, but Michael Rooker... Oh, wait, he was in the last one, wasn't he? I can't remember. Oh, Scott Eaglin's coming back, too. Guys, the cast is good, but, like... Ugh, Fast 9 was so bad. I really did not like that movie. I, uh, and they're showing a clip from Fast 9. It, it was so bad, and it's just getting stupider and stupider and more ridiculous, and... I don't know. Um... I'm optimistic, I guess, but I just, I'm done with the Fast and Furious franchise. I really am. I just, yeah, I used to love the Fast and Furious franchise. Not anymore. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Wars. This is my number one most excited movie. I, I am so excited for this movie. I love Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse so much. I need to watch it, honestly. It, it's probably been a little more than a year, and that's too long to not have watched Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse. It's such a good movie. Uh, so Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, I'm so excited for. And I was so disappointed when it, it, they said they were pushing it back from this year to next year. I want it now. Uh, Transformers Rise of the Beasts. I have not seen this trailer. Um, directed by Stephen Cable Jr., who did the second Creed, I believe. Uh, I don't know if Michael Bay has anything to do with this one anymore. Hope not. Oh, Michelle Yeoh is in this. I, I I have some hope for this one. I will say that. Um, Pete Davidson, Ron Perlman is up. I mean, these voices I think are different voices than what they've been in the past. If I'm correct, I don't know. Uh, Michael Bay is producing this. That worries me. Um. I don't know. I want to like the Transformers movies. I really liked Bumblebee. Uh, I really don't like any of the other ones all that much. So, yeah. I rewatched a couple of them this year, too, uh, before Ambulance, I believe. And they're fine. Well, the first one's fine. Second and third are crap. The Little Mermaid. Um, This is just another one of Disney's cash passions uh and i was also talking with someone in uh, my theater people talking about how he said he believes that like uh if they don't make something with the character they lose parts of the rights for it or something like that so that's why they're doing these i don't i don't know I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I hope it's good. I I want these movies to be good, but I really didn't like Lion King. Beauty and the Beast was fine. Yeah. Uh, the Flash, guys. I... Uh, <laughs> I don't believe this movie's ever going to come out. I really don't. Um, it says expected June 16th. I don't know if that's going to happen. With everything going on with Ezra Miller... I, and I hear this movie is actually amazing from the director of those two It movies. I just don't think it's going to be very good. I, I, well, I, that's not true. I just don't think we're going to see it. Um, maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe, maybe you know, I'm hearing it's. there's been people, early audiences that have seen it, and hearing it, that it's incredible. It just Michael Keaton is Batman. Ben Affleck's supposed to be in this one. I I don't know. I hope we do see it. I do want to see it. 
I can kind of ignore this Ezra Miller stuff a little bit while watching the movie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Elemental. This is that new Pixar one. Uh, follows Ember and Wade in a city where fire, water, land, and air is in. This feels very inside out to me. Hi, hi, hi. We're at 11 o'clock now, man. I'm tired. I have to work at 10 a.m. tomorrow, too, which is great. Um, yeah, I don't know about this one. I didn't love Inside Out. It's a good movie, don't get me wrong. Um, I enjoyed Inside Out. I've definitely re-watched it a few times. I don't know about Elemental. And uh, what was the last Disney Pixar movie? Oh, Buzz Lightyear. Lightyear. It wasn't my favorite. Uh, I don't know. We'll see about that one. Indiana Jones. I did not watch this trailer. Uh, I'm curious to see what they do with it. James Mangold is a great actor. So I'm hesitant, but I hope they end Harrison Ford's um, run with Indiana Jones on a high note. It's insane that we're going to have an 80-year-old uh, Indiana Jones, though. I just, that's a little old for me. I, I don't know about that. Insidious 5. Did I watch the third or fourth? I don't even know on that one. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Guys, I saw that IMAX trailer, that the nine-minute clip that we have seen on YouTube now. That was an IMAX. So incredible. I am so excited for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Uh, Oppenheimer, it's a, it's a Christopher Nolan movie. The cast is stacked. Um, I did not like Tenet. Tenet killed me a little bit. But I'm... I'm hesitantly, I, I'm excited for it. It's, it's, up. it's, it's a Christopher Nolan movie. I will always be excited for Christopher Nolan movie in a sense. So Barbie, I'm so really excited for it. I loved that trailer that we got that little teaser with 2001. That was great. Uh, Marvel's again, I'm very hesitant with Marvel movies, but we're going to have, you know, um, what's your name? Monica Rambo. Yeah, Monica. I think it's Monica. Monica in this as well as uh, Miss Marvel. <sighs> I have found Captain Marvel as a character to kind of be boring. And um, this is going to have them all together. So I'm a little bit more excited for this one. Meg to the Trench. The first Meg was a big guilty pleasure. And I had fun with it. I think I saw it like two or three times in theaters. It was so much fun. So I'm excited for it. It's gonna be dumb though. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. This is one that Seth Rogen had a part of or something, didn't he? Yeah, Seth Rogen's in this one. It's gonna be animated, I believe. Uh, I'm interested, we'll see what happens. Seth Rogen's not a terrible person to have in your movie, you know what I mean? Haunted Mansion, it has Jamie Lee Curtis, Danny DeVino, Winona Ryder, Jared Leto, great cast. Um, I'm having PTSD from the last, um, Haunted Mansion movie we got, though. It was not good. At all. But, um, hey, you never know. It might be good. Dan Levy, that's... Solid cast here. Who is Justin Uh, he's done some writing. No directing, though? Uh, dear white people, I have not seen any of that. Oh, I've seen bad hair, haven't I? I don't know. Um, we'll see. It's got a good cast. There's my, my positives about it, I guess. Alright, where are we at? I hate that it keeps going back. Like, just put me back to where I was at, please. Um, Last Voyager, I don't know what that is. Blue Beetle. I, we just heard about this. I, I don't know what that is. It's a DC, it's a comic book movie. I'm always going to be excited for comic book movies, I guess. So we'll see about that one. They listen. Equalizer 3. I did not like the first one that much. I didn't like the second one all that much. So, and 
The Nun 2. I did not like that first Nun movie. I was very drunk when I watched that movie. Uh, Expendables 4. We're actually getting a fourth one of those. Megan Fox is going to be in this new one. I haven't liked any of the Expendable movies that much, honestly, either. Next Goal Wins. This is that one that was directed by Taika Waititi. Did not like Taika Waititi's last movie at all. The one before that one, though, was amazing. It was in my top ten of the year, uh, Jojo Rabbit. Uh, I'm interested in this. It's based on a true story, I believe. Yeah. So I'm interested. That's a good cast. Very good cast. Uh, we'll see. Um, very hesitant on that one, though, too, because Taika's last movie was garbage, in my opinion. I did not like Love and Thunder at all. What else we got here, guys? What else we got? We're into September now. And I'm sure a lot of this is going to change. The Oh, let's talk about The Exorcist, guys. First of all, I don't love the original Exorcist. I don't think it's that great of a movie. And this one is being directed by uh, the same director as the last Halloween, the last three Halloween movies. Nope, not after watching Halloween Ends. I was talking with my movie crew about that tonight, and uh, they were like, yeah, that movie's a pile of garbage. It might be in my worst movies of the year. Kind of agree. It might be in my worst movies of the year, too, because it was just nothing. It was terrible. Uh, Raven the Hunter, I don't know if we're ever even going to get that movie. That movie's supposed to come out, like, two years ago, I think. We'll see. Again, excited for comic book movies. Saw 10. Now, if this is a continuation of Spiral, I'm excited for it. If we are trying to continue on just Tobin Bell's Jigsaw kind of stuff, not as excited for it. I really liked Jigsaw. I enjoyed that movie for what it was. He directed one of the other Saw movies that I remember nothing about. What were the traps in this one or? Oh, this is when it switched from one guy to the next guy. Well, from the one guy to the next guy to the next guy. Oh, this was this one, Saw 6. Okay, I remember this. I uh, did not enjoy that Saw as much, but the last Saw was directed by... The, the last Spiral, and it was directed by... Um, I think he did Saw 4 or 5, and I didn't love those Saws. You know, I'm hesitantly excited for it. I, I like the idea of Saw. We'll see. Uh, I'm not going to get my hopes up about it, though. Dune Part 2. I really enjoyed the first Dune. I didn't love it. I'm not the biggest sci-fi head. I have not read the book, so... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I like it. What? Wait, Chicken Run Dawn of the Nugget. We're getting another Chicken Run movie? Looks like none of the original cast is really coming back. But I like the first Chicken one. I, run. I'm the guy. Is that the guy who did the first one? No, but he just flushed away. Tales is for Paranorman. I don't know, guys. That, that might be something that'll be good. I... I Remember watching the first Chicken Run a lot as a child. We had it on VHS, and we just watched that movie, ah, oh, shoot, more times than I can count, honestly. We watched that movie so many different times growing up, and I don't know. I'm kind of excited for a second Chicken Run. I don't like, you know, it looks like Zachary Levi, the new voice of Rocky instead of Mel Gibson. I don't know about that, but uh, I am interested, and I will definitely go see it because I go see everything. The Skull. What's that? Jason Dispenso. Who's in it? There's literally, like, nothing about this. Or it's just taking that long to load because my internet's being stupid right now. I know nothing about this. Who is Jason Distafono? Distafono. Distafono. I know nothing. Okay. I don't know what that is. Cool name. The Skull. We'll see. We'll see on that one as well. Um, what else we got here? 
Uh, you have skipped that. Okay. This new Hunger Games movie. Uh, I, I feel so. This book was being written the same time as the screenplay, I believe. That's interesting to me. I, I'm excited to be back in the Hunger Games world. I just don't know what else is there to tell. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm interested to see it. Let's put it that way. Trolls 3. Did I ever watch Trolls 2? There was a Trolls 2. I don't even remember Trolls 2. I wasn't much excited about that, I guess. Wish. Is that in animated? Animated. Okay. I'm always excited for a Disney animated movie. I really am. I, I like Disney movies. I What can I say? Uh, always excited for Disney animated. Sorry, guys. I am. Sorry, I just proved. Yeah, look right there. Right? Uh, you probably can't see it because my big head's in the way. It's 1130 at night. I'm tired. Um, we had our back 40 uh, Christmas party at a trampoline park, which is why I'm wearing... I don't know if you can even see it. I'm sure you can because it's like right in front of the camera, but that is why I'm wearing... Yeah, there you go. Sticky socks. Yeah. I'm tired. My back hurts. My body hurts. Uh, Wonka. I am... I don't know. I'm interested in this movie. It... I don't... I don't know. Directed by Paul King, which... Uh, he's the guy that did the... Paddington movies, which I love. So that gives me a lot of hope for it. Didn't Taika Waititi <laughs> produce this? Or... I don't know. I feel like it's something to do with this. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I thought Taika Waititi had something. Maybe he just produced it. I don't, I don't remember... I don't remember, I don't remember, why do I think Taika Waititi was involved, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if you his name involved in anywhere, yeah, 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 I guess that was just a rare Cody singing, um, I thought Taika Waititi was involved with this, though. But I guess he's not. Um, I don't know, guys. I, again, that's a good director. And the, the director is really making me go, oh my god, I'm excited. Gremlins 3, is this for real? I love the first Gremlins. I'm interested to see a third. Uh, Chris Columbus wrote it. Who's directing it is my question. I apologize if you guys can hear my um, heater on. It's cold in here, and I'm going to bed soon, so I like to turn my heat off at night. But I also like to, you know, heat it up a little bit so that it just kind of cools down over the night. It helps me sleep. If Gremlin 3 really is coming out, I'm, 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 you know, I'm going to see what they do with it. How about that? What else we got? What else we got? We're towards the end here. And I just feel like this entire thing is going to change. Are we actually getting another Ghostbusters movie by next year? Our first one came out, what, last year? I don't know about that one. And it's going to be led by Ernie Hudson and Dan Aykroyd? Huh. Um, I don't know. I didn't love that, that Ghostbusters that came out couple of years ago, you can really tell that I'm bald. Holy cow, look at that, guys. I'm, I need to start using that Bosley crap or whatever the heck it's called. You, look at that, oh my god. Let's not worry about my, you know, midlife crisis right now, though. We're talking movies, damn it. Who cares about my hair? No one cares about my damn hair. No one cares that I'm getting old. Colored purple? We're getting another movie of that? Or it's just the musical version? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. I, I, hmm. I'm always down for a musical. Uh, I 
haven't watched Color Purple in a while. That was that Steven Spielberg movie, wasn't it? Augment in the Lost Kingdom. I don't know what's going on with this. Is Ben Affleck actually in this movie? Claims he's on here, but I don't know. Um, and that's about it. And I kind of feel like a lot of this is just kind of going to be going bye bye Or more is added, or, you know, they haven't fully announced that a Martin Scorsese movie's coming out or something like that. I'm trying to think what I would maybe do for a top 10. Um, I'm actually, no, I won't put that on there. Cocaine Bear, I gotta put it up there. Creed 3, I'm very excited for. Screen 6, I am very excited for. Uh, Shazam, I'm actually really excited for. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, I will put that one up there. I will not put in Ant-Man, because, eh. Um... Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse is, like, number one. The Transformers, I'm interested to see what happens of it. Indiana Jones, I'm excited to see what happens with it. Mission Impossible, absolutely. Can you even see me right now? I mean, you can just see my bald-ass head. Uh, Oppenheimer, for sure. Kind of excited for Barbie. I might make that my 10 right there. A lot of these I just don't know. We don't have... Really don't even have posters or anything for, so... Um, as of now... Those are going to be my top tens, right? The ones I just said there. As far as order goes, I don't know. Ah, no. I know number one is Spider-Man the Spider-Verse. Across the Spider-Verse, sorry. And then number two is probably going to be Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. From there, things get jobbled. Um, so yeah, guys, that was just kind of... It was a relatively shorter video that I, than I usually do. Just looking at the release date for this next year... Um, I'm excited. I really am for what's to come in 2023. I hope we can have more success in the box office. The box office has been eh compared to other years. Better than compared to last year, but that's not saying much. Uh, so I, I'm excited to see what's to come. I'm excited to see my life changing in the aspect of me moving. And I'm excited to see what happens with this channel. Uh, this channel has done really well, actually, in the last year. Uh, especially towards this later half. Uh, I had a video hit, but almost 50, I think I'm almost at 54,000 views uh, for my Top Gun Maverick video, which may not seem like a lot to someone like, you know, Jeremy Johns or something like that, where he's getting literally a million views in one video, but it's a lot to me. And I appreciate you guys watching and I appreciate you guys subscribing if you've subscribed. If you haven't, please subscribe. I just want to get to 80. That's like nothing. 80 subscribers, that's it, that's all I want. I'm not even, I just, come on. I need like three more, two or three more, I think. I think it was at 78 when I checked it. So, if you guys could help me out, get me to that, that would be great. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff, help me out. Uh, and then I won't ask for a while. I, I won't, I, I, you know, I just won't. Uh, but yeah, I'm hopefully gonna have more videos coming out by the end of the year here. Um, I might have a top 10. There's a couple movies that I really wanted to see I don't think I'm going to get to see, so it sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, yeah, I'll do my best, guys, see what I can do this week. Uh, I do work in the morning tomorrow. It's going to be a long day. Probably not going to be able to make a video tomorrow night, but I can probably make one tomorrow or Thursday morning. So, I think this video will come out Wednesday afternoon, uh, Thursday, during the day, maybe I can put up a video maybe my top 10 worst of the year try to stall for maybe see a couple more movies i don't know we'll see what i can do anyways guys that was the end of the release schedule i hope you guys have a wonderful night get some sleep tonight um enjoy the rest of your 2022 uh and i hope big things happen for you in 23 2023 the way they are for me um i'm excited for what the future holds so uh yeah guys i hope you guys have a good one and I will see you very soon. You know, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Soon. Very soon. Very soon. Probably Thursday. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.